Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to this week's Sup Whatever Day. Uh, this is going to serve as basically an overall update on me and my life and where I currently am. Everything like that, uh, because as I'll probably title this video, it's time for a change. I've been kind of on autopilot mode for a while now. For anybody that's watched my uh, stuff for any period of time, you know that I kind of go in and out of these autopilot modes and then I have to reinvigorate my love for this job uh, in, in order to get back on track and also for my personal health which I'll also be talking about and uh, yeah this video will basically just serve as an update on pretty much everything so let's jump right in let's get the boring stuff out of the way first the YouTube the twitch uh, here on YouTube I'm gonna be trying different things we're gonna be in a mode of trying new video ideas and uh you know taking all that stuff that you all commented on for the past two videos or three videos even um and trying to implement different types of videos maybe one to two videos a week rather than let's plays uh, a lot of people say that they still want let's plays but it's pretty disheartening when i feel like i am putting in a good amount of effort um, you know some people say that i can cut down a lot of stuff that's true but i feel like with dark souls 3 I have put in a good amount of effort and I've thought that it was a good series up until now and I was pretty proud of it. Um, but still, the views are pretty bad. So that's why I want to switch things up. Like even these videos get like four times the amount of views as my bread and butter, the Dark Souls 3 Let's Play does currently. So yeah, it's kind of just disheartening to experience that every day where you feel like you're doing your best. With some series, I could definitely do better. Like Subnautica, I can cut down a lot of stuff that, you know, just doesn't need to be in the video. But again, for Dark Souls 3, there's usually not that much downtime for Souls games in general, which is probably probably why I like recording them so much. Um, but anyways, so here on YouTube, we're going to be trying different things. Maybe gaming news, maybe gaming reviews, maybe, uh, again, just kind of more in-depth content, more quality over quantity. And it's going to be a learning process. I'm going to be experimenting probably with a lot of different types of videos. We will just see. Uh, over on Twitch, I am going to be completely real with you all. I have been pretty depressed lately uh, with Twitch specifically. Uh, views have dwindled quite heavily. We just did a Souls Vember uh, event where we played through all the seven Souls Born Akira Ring games, and it was successful. But the views have been pretty bad on that side of things as well. And I completely blame myself. Um, if you watch my streams, you'll probably have noticed there is much less talking, much less energy in general. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe I've just done this too long at this point and there's no way to fix it. Uh, I want to get back to where I was, um, but it's tricky. I think about the height of my stream and it was like during COVID where people were staying home and watching my content and we were averaging like anywhere from 150 to 300 people and things were crazy. And I'm trying to think like how to get back there because my intentions were really good at that time. It was like, okay, I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna improve people's days no matter what. And I try to go into my streams currently with that mindset, but some days it's tricky, uh, especially if energy levels are significantly down. Crap, I just realized the profile is streaming and not recording. Hopefully that doesn't mess up this video um, on OBS. Anyways, so yeah, I've been pretty uh, out of it lately on Twitch, and I don't really know how to get that spark back. Um, I... I one thing that's worked in the past is I just have a goal in mind, such as, you know, uh, trying to improve people's days. And I just hammer that home no matter what, even if there's like five people watching, uh, you know, I just uh, going to improve those five people's days. And that tends to work out. So maybe I just have to go into every single stream with that mindset and really just not drop it no matter what. But it's just been bumming me out lately, and it's hard to push past it. And for those of you that watch my Twitch streams, um, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. I don't know how to reinvigorate that spark to the to where it has been in the past. You know, especially when we play a new game like God of War Ragnarok, and our views dip heavily, probably because people still are avoiding it for spoilers. But still, it's a new game, and like I checked the views lately, and I was like, holy crap, man, we're doing pretty bad, pretty bad indeed. But Either way, um, I'm going to try to do my best to push past all of that, and maybe it really just does come down to I'm going to improve people's days with every stream that I do and just stick with that no matter what. Even if chat is dead for the whole stream, whatever. That one person that's lurking that really needs that distraction that day, 
uh, you know, maybe I can provide a source of light to them, if that makes sense. Because I've experienced that on the other hand, uh, when I've experienced hardcore depression and stuff in the past, uh, mainly 2019, as I've talked about in the past, was like the worst year of my life. And uh, Twitch really helped out. Um, other channels, if you don't know, I started a new channel called Playing Right with GV, uh, which you can search or you can go find the I Start a New Channel video that I recently uploaded and click the link. I'm not going to provide links because I want people to find that naturally if they actually want to find the channel and watch it because if just a bunch of people go and subscribe but don't actually watch the videos, that's just going to hurt the videos and the channel. Uh, Devour is on hold for now. Uh, I want to kind of get my weight back in check and want to start eating healthier. And Devour obviously promotes eating fast food and bad stuff. So definitely on hold for now. Food review channel. GV Stream Archive is where all my streams are uploaded, if you did not know. Uh, and then I think that's all the channels. Oh, there's a second channel, GV, G-E-E-V-E-E, -E -E -E, which is a little hard to upload to at the moment with everything else going on. But I will be uploading probably more Terraria and other blind Let's Plays to that. So that's pretty much everything work-related at the moment. Uh, let's jump into personal stuff, which is deeply personal this month. Um, this, this video, I should say, uh, I got fat again. I hate it so much. I, every time that I lose significant amount of, uh, significant amounts of weight and I look good. Cause like there, you know, recently last year I was in the best shape of my life. I'm like, I'll never ever get fat again, no matter what, it's not going to happen. And then I get fat again because you know, the yo-yo effect or whatever, whatever, psychologically, you know, I, I definitely am a hardcore food addict. Uh, I could go into detail about that, but that's for another video. Um, and yeah, it's just, it sucks, man. I love food and whenever I'm not feeling great, it is the thing that makes me feel better. You know, so it's tough. It's tough to manage my weight and I stopped going to the gym and I just put on a lot of weight as you can probably tell. Now it's not the worst that I've ever been and plus all the muscle that I put on, you know, um, helped me out quite a bit to not, like my muscle composure now, composition now, compared to when I was at this weight before working out so much uh, is far better because I just have a lot more muscle still from working out for so long because I went like 70 weeks without missing a workout. Um, but I still got fat again and I hate it and I want to shed that. So at the time of this video, I recently redid all my workouts for the first week, restarting it uh, and they were great. My legs are still sore and I'm not like, I'm not like, I'll get up and show you. I'm not like too bad at the moment, I think. But I definitely put on a little bit of weight there, and I can definitely shed some weight here. Yeah. But my legs are still kind of toned, as you can see. Um, and basically, I just want to get back to where I was. So, what's the plan for that? Well, I'm going to do exactly what worked before. I'm going to go back to eating 2,700 calories a day, not including alcohol. Everybody always says, why don't you include alcohol? Well, it's because if I'm going to the gym and I'm eating 3000 calories a day about, I still lose weight and put on muscle. So those 300 calories per day really make up the alcohol. If I go out drinking with friends or something, if that makes sense. So yeah, 2,700 uh, calories a day, not counting, um, alcohol calories just cause like I just went to a party recently and it would be awful trying to keep up with how many calories I'm drinking. And it usually works out. Uh, and then going to the gym four days a week with the Frankoman dumbbell only split uh, again, which I will put in the chat or in the comment section below for anybody that wants to follow along because that workout was genuinely great for me. Probably not the best workout ever, but it still helped me out quite a lot. So that, I'm just going to go back to what worked basically. And I feel motivation again for a while there. I was not feeling any motivation at all to work out and get back in shape. But now I am. Now I'm feeling it once more, Mr. Krabs. So, yeah, for those that want to work out with me, uh, feel free to post your progress and all that sort of stuff. And I just want to show what I look like now because I am definitely fired up and motivated to get back to where I was about a year ago, which was in the best shape of my life. Um, and that leads me to nutrition, which still is awful. Uh, my nutrition has always been awful. I spend far too much money on ordering bad food and eating out in general. And, you know, it's, it's calories in, calories out. So even when I was in my best shape, I was still doing that. And, you know, I was losing weight and putting on muscle, but I obviously could have been much better. So I don't know what to do about that. I probably will just have to hire a nutritionist at this point because it's such a challenge for me. It's far easier for me to, like, go to the gym and lose weight than it is for me to eat well and eat correctly. 
It's just always been like the last bastion for me to overcome has been nutrition. So that is kind of where I would like to be if I get back in shape, not if, when, when I get back in shape, you know, to then take it a step further and really lock down my nutrition and feel better because it's one thing to look really good. It's another thing to like feel really good. And that's kind of affecting my streams too. these five hour streams where I'm just like freaking dazed, man. I just don't have energy. And I think a lot of that is because of what I eat. Um, yeah, so relationship wise i'll probably save this for another video um i'm currently dating a wonderful woman that i don't really want to talk about i want to keep that stuff private for the most part uh but she was introduced on the stream recently for anybody that was there for that and yeah i suppose that's it mainly focusing on making new content now for youtube i have a fire under my butt for that a fire under my butt for going back to the gym and getting back in shape uh and the main challenge is twitch uh twitch is uh, a bitch to wrangle um and yeah i don't know man i just um i the only thing i can think of is again that mindset of uh, putting people first and trying to improve their days and then also just eating better so I genuinely have better energy to go for five hours straight and, and stream and talk to people and stuff because some days I just don't have the energy for it um, that, that's about it I hate that I'm fat again but it is what it is I'm going to do my best to shed the weight and put on some muscle again and plus it's just a nice going to the gym is just so nice for your mental state to relax and to just, you know, have an hour to two hours to yourself. It's just really nice. Um, and yeah, that's about everything. Uh, my current challenges and yada, yada, yada uh, that I'm currently experiencing. Uh, if you have any feedback or any thoughts, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section below because I do enjoy reading those comments when I go to the gym. Uh, it's part of my ritual. And yeah, here's to shedding some weight and getting an early start before the idea was to start before January uh, when everyone else is going back to the gym to get a month, you know, head start. And so far, so good. Um, four really great workouts. And my legs are still sore from like a week ago just because of DOMS, which is, uh, what is it, delayed onset muscle soreness or whatever. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm looking forward to making new content for this channel and go check out the other channel, Play and Rate with GV. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.